I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Wait a minute. Where to now? Left, across the square. Hey, Demir, do you think the colonel knows what our has been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my slingshot. <laughs> Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the match? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? said you'll be fine are you trying to kill me with worry what if next time you don't return from the surface there's no one out there Artyom no one to find no one to talk to if there was don't you think they'd be here already we've talked about this again and again you have to accept it there's only us Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for Artyom... Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Hello, how you are the you nurses in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. <sighs> Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, uh, All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like So kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, 
Yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyon? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but the monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat. With a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa. Hear that? Turn the light off. and hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. So, the pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. I 
You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one you know, for what's that. what's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
getting killed standing guard in a place like this. Okay, watchmen broke through. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise. Well done. Looking for us, and we never even saw them, because you killed them all. Women, 
Children! Children! My dad will never... Go back! Who the fuck are you? Throw me at you! You fucker! It's sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All unauthorized Who are you? I'm Brian Wallace the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go with it, and I'll get you out of here. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. Hey! Hey! Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. Artyom, I'm changing positions. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. I see the him! Artyom, the hangar is right there. We can break through. It's on! Artyom. Covering you! The shadow is coming Great back job, online. Great job, Artyom. We're inside. You can take the mask off, Artyom.
Sir, Mika is watching you. Captain, sir, if I may have permission to speak, this German is one shady character. I'm telling you, there was a noise from behind the gate. There's no. We'll find out. First, we handle the attackers, and then we take time talking. Oh, that's great. He's been acting way too suspicious. Group A, report your status. Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard in the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Yeah, but how many guards do they have? Got to maintenance. They just have to attack now, you fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already. And I feel like shit. I should see the doctor. You should tell the Major. It might be time for your transfusion. <laughs> Group D, redeploy to the generator room. Aha, you can sneak ahead. No need to play heroes for a change. Let's wait till they walk off. We're on high alert. The are not allowed to just walk around now. Man, I'm not sure. How does that mean you're going to ready the train for me? What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? You only have an open plan for tomorrow, and it's bound to be cancelled now. Just stay put for now. We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. Did we ever have a chance to relax like this before? I don't think so. Oh. Not getting shot at sure is nice for a change. Nice not to expect the bullets to end up in the dark for more than six months. Hey! Ah, uh, that's suspicious. That's still. All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole place. Heads up! It's the end! More guards!
was intense. Are you okay? For the engineer. What do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this the you right dare give me lip, soldier. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? What What are you doing here? Talk about sir. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no, down. Shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, about, there are sir. people from other cities, dead! All Everyone of them, women, up. children! I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. And I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this not my this call, and you know Misunderstanding, well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. Alright, Spartans. Throw these overboard, and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mayor. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Uh? Stop 
We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the long faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, well, before Artyom took that, that radio outside and caught all that more. radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Attention, Which attention. means we have to continue. Wait a moment, what was that? From the Ark Project Base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cost. Listen, everyone! Rally point. Rally point location is code 1811 79. Area 18 5. So it is somewhere around here. The Yamantau Mountain. So the route from here should go like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors.
survivors of the <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> oh, By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for. <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir. That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. Do <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Your luck. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam ahead. Uh, we wow, that's some ice. distance. I wonder how long it will take. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! All hands, report to the bridge! On the double! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. 
I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm going to check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Let's go, Artyom. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, come here. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys. Well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they serve the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? What's taking you so long? Come, outside. I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Don't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats.
Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Salantius had already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons in. up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's alright. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Who's here? Seems like it was nothing. He came by boat during the sermon. Sorry, we were just looking for him and we... Ah, forget it. I need to leave. 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 I need to leave
Good job, Artyom. You're like a real ninja. I just kiss you right now. Though I've got to take Katya and Nastya to the Aurora, so see you there. Check the map. Looks like you can roll straight there from your position. huge the old man sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row seat watching you there and so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult how about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder?
Here's Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. You're alive! <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya, right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artem, a moment. Artem, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artem. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. <sighs> in any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Here, Artyom. You really should move out to port soon. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it.
I'll lower the crane for you! Amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. I mean, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers have never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. Their <laughs> tarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now.
Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not the palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty place. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away, buddy. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. Now, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
area. God damn it. We have to tell the others that we found her, Sam. It's good I don't found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Stepan, persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. <coughs> Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will have with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit bugging Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk. Will. Hi, Artyom. All right, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom, see how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's boat. Colonel, sir, 
We can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stefan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom, I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. 
Uncle Artyom, Uncle Artyom, are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him, a flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too, a bit. Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon and stay away Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, well, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melody so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom! of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Selandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cash here on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. <sighs> I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul. Thank you. 
Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times, but no dice. I understand why, but we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof, so I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post.
I can't enough. I give up, man. Like, really.
Artyom! Come up here! I have something to talk to you about! I knew you had great potential! Thank you, Artyom! I don't even know how to thank you! Ah, isn't she a beauty? Thank you, Artyom. You are the man. I am in your debt. So unlike my poor old girl. Come on, Artyom! Come up here! Well, come on, the old man's waiting. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. <sighs> I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Now, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen? Huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. <sighs> it's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tiha ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck, and thanks again. Artyom, we are in position, awaiting orders.
Holy shit! I surrender! You won, man! At least he didn't fucking shoot me on the spot. I see you. Come up here on the crane. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but Kress says such, such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to pick the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for ready action. action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Here. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best spot for point entry. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter.
Okay, nothing this time. What was that? We have to check it out. Uh, what's the point? Do you have to look for more stuff to do? Well, I sure don't like it, but we gotta check. All right, let's do that. I'll avenge you if you get hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Just don't shoot my ass, though, okay, you avenging angel? So, are we going to Nizhny this time? No, we'll turn back about 20 clicks from there. Fuck those assholes. You're talking about the outpost? Yeah, the last time we were there, those fucking so-called vigilant watchmen made a sieve out of our bridge. Conveniently, everything was all right while we were unloading the wares, but when the time came to play up... Damn assholes. There are now spaces well, between so, the cargo. So Squeeze through them. If they offer a great of ammo for a piece of bread, I don't care. I'd sooner go to Baku than there. I wonder what's better. Bullets flying? We're dying of boredom here. There's a float between the barges. Climb overboard. It's not tobacco, it's bait. and quit scaring the fish away with your bullshit. It's high time it started biting. All right, see it all you want. Crazy. Quit scaring the fish. <laughs> so how long are we going to keep sitting on our thumbs here? Well, the high which is working on. The generator shuts off all the time. If that's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. Sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. They aren't so bad. Look how long they last. And I'm not going to look good for you guys. Oh. Anyway, what's the problem? Are you in a hurry? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods. Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm, it's us! We don't need your goods, your tugboat on the other hand. You can collect it at the bridge if you play your cards right. You got me? Uh, yes, of course. Order your people to stand down and nobody gets hurt. At once! Hey, listen up, people. This is your skipper. Stand down and surrender at once. You did the right thing. It's nice to talk to a smart guy for a change. Now go! <laughs> Great job, Artyom. Artyom, all of our guys are fine. You did great. You guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not. We have no time to waste. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And our job, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, weigh anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the rain until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, 
when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, we're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine. Believe. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. You are sure! Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, please. So, Artyom, shall we move? Whoever gets there first we wins! Leg! So you come in the attending 
Thanks. You took Katya, and now you have me. Damn, you are quicker too. Look, we're just passing through. We'll let us through peacefully. Our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk it with blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! All your fire! You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. You are not to jump. Here, we've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move forward. We don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>
This is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really. No, a child. But he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay the debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing. So much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Phew. No, you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course, it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, Artyom, you seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit, I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. Uncle Tucker, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. Come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. I'm sorry to ask, Katja, but Nastya's father. Now stop it already! <laughs> well, what what do you expect? The colonel's <laughs> waiting for you on the bridge. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, it's a long story. Come on, out with it! Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. 
<laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You ask me about the waste yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artem get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. It's all about the results. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. 
He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. to the safe zone and sit tight there. We know that right now. Stefan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. <laughs> Now we shouldn't have come here, really. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Bye. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. 
And where are your people, Colonel? It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? is planned. <coughs> Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. <coughs> Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! 
calm down. We don't get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. You understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you ready! Long time! Two ashes! Now we'll be full again! Good. Idiot, 
You come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Get to the other <laughs> Is my Nikon. It was here. 
Bomba. Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You are not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just... Freeze! Yes, yes! Then Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Remember what I told you! There was an ex... Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Let's go! Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit.
This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Silentius with his damned fanatics. But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do I'll now? I'll damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs, all the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian 1, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision <laughs> together. It's interrupted, it's getting quite hot in here. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is allotted to me. Is that guy? <laughs> Looks like 
this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Sutka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war, the government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites! What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then. <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Artyom, a car! Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. 
We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? Artyom, I've got something for you. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Ah, hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now, ah, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly. With all this sand around...
You made a mistake coming here. I surrender! So, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
Protect your slave from enemy! Why must they not make me warrior? I want you. Why you are? What you do?
to hack. Forgive me, Ursa. I stupid slave. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Master up there, yes. Master, no. Yes, yes.
I kill you now! You killed my enemies, so I think you're a friend! Doors blocked! Wait till I lower the lift! The Moon Eye by Lair is my friend. The Moon Eye by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles, too. <laughs> Better death. Years, nobody would come here save for Moon Eye by Lair. Kill. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. Abandoned? Kill. We helped you. So could you help us in return by leaving our man inside? Good. I will help. Arthur, you have to find the archive. It should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Nier will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have choice. Before war, this place was beautiful. Sea, 
I was five then. My mom was young. Alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going.
I'm here too. Gyul nearly shot me, thought I was an enemy. <laughs>
Get out of here! They won't jump us with lights still on! Go, go, go! to the colonel. By the way, I, I brought your car. It's at the dock. It's amazing the lift still works with all the cracks in the trunk. Mother told me they had to repair many times. And other things too. Keprak me. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. You people are lucky. Most of them are not here. If they were here, you would be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change this. Abunai Bailer. Translates to something like oil Listen 
such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. I see you got the maps. You and Amir did a great job there. <coughs> I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. Damn, I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon. Inside! Hey, full time. Arvion, I have the mirror on the line here, so take a seat. I'll be with you soon. What a storm! Made of sand, no less. But I get on the sand. All right. Miller, over and out. You got them? Great job, Artyom. Great news. Artyom got the maps. Well done, Artyom. That is such a relief. Idiot. Get started with these. I'll join you later. Here. There's a lot Give of a data. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. 
And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron, but his terms proved to be... unacceptable. The old told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror gone to the place, and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, party, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? Grand Bayerma. The storm seems Don't to be over. I'll go back to the post. Perfect. Well, where would I keep any? In your untouchable reserve, of course. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't even have a canteen. I never needed it before. Wait till lunch, then we'll all get some, huh? I wish I had a canteen. Then I'd share some water with you now. Uncle Artom, is this for me? Wow, thank you! Look, Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Well, now we'll have to ask for some water. Then you'll have your own untouchable reserve. Wow, thank you! What have you got, idiot? Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. The workbench is at your service. What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. Ha! They even have the radiation level dynamics here! When is it from? Hmm... Yeah, a bit old. Well, let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Which maps have we got? Central Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals... The European part of the country... Aha! I see. No far east.
sandstorm, somebody wiped off both of the ruins. Judging by the time, it's that train guy. I just called him out on it, but they kept denying everything. The thing is, some boys saw them driving a car or people at the post time. You come on some total loose cannons, so you must stay alert. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. Are you ready? How are the guys doing with no water? While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. Gil says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Let's go! <laughs> well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. <laughs> wow! That's some noise! There, huh? Ah, shaitan! Stupid bats! Yeah, this place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out, and it hurts. Steady, steady. Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance. Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. Wait! Artyom, masks on! So... The war really did put people back into the Stone Age. Cave, paintings and all. Oh, they toughed it out here for some time. I wish we'd gotten here earlier. Damn! A cave-in! We're in luck though, there's still some space left.
Oh, how many people lived here? Everything is built up. We cross the bridge and head right. Looks like we're almost out. Follow me! The passage to the spring! Let's go! Another cave in. My filter's almost done for. Look, light! Here. Well, the air seems all right. Masks off. Well, it's a crawl from here on. says the locals follow every word the oilmen say, so let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Turn your torch off, Artyom. It's a dead giveaway. Look, water. See that car? I'll move the air and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck, and try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, alright? Really? Are you nuts? All the gang is in a ray, it's just... 
Yes, yes, master. Work, work quick. You read me well. Over. Come on, master. Work fast. Work fast. Work fast. Where's our water? Who's You should have seen their marks when I started the car. <sighs> well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. Looks like
We showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... The Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Hi, our hero. <laughs> well, this Hi, Artyom. Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. You guys did great! Watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you.
Down there! Look! Let's get out of this shit while we still can! <laughs> Don't shoot me! I give up! Look, you just, you know, just don't shoot me, bro! Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. Alright, I'll raise it and you get through.
Great. See you up there. No use. Nobody go. Nobody food. This time here. All day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slave more use that way. You said right, completely, very right. Dog not pity? They don't know what to do. They torture dog and laugh. Little dog can't grow, get eaten by other Shut up, you fuck! Shut up now! Don't let me sleep! Worried for nothing. I have good news. Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Um, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered a, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away, it's such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Point that gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Open the gate and let our guests in. Come up! We won't even touch you! Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but... There is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we we're as good as dead. He's good luck, Artyom. The if the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. Look at that gear. Damn it! 
down. There's too many of them to count. Bakers, slaves, even some women. What the fuck are you saying? Baron's quarters are probably at the door. A warehouse, that's the word. Get over here. Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. You must be one of the train gang. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of fucking grind or what? Fix that shit. Well, you just you fucking pull it. it. Put your back into it. Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? Fuck it, you suck before he sets us all on fire. I'm sorry, master. I'm your slave. Was not on purpose. Shut up! I'll teach you how to serve now. I'm sorry, master. Don't teach, please. I wonder what's better. Come on. What's taking so long? Come over here already. Yes, you fucking look at that. The whore drank Master's water. Gotta give her a lesson. Forgive now. me, Uli Mirsa. I You're a dog! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a dog! No, the water is for so people! No, no, you for the master! Either. Do you get it? <laughs> hey! You! Get your ass over here! Yes, Ulu Mursa. Throw this piece of shit out of here. Throw it Come away. Come out of the ladder with you. The boss don't like right now. It's one of those new arrives. Come to lick the boss here. Yeah. What's the hold up? What's up with your eyes, my Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your weapon. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. I find it weird they're not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope... You can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I am Gyul. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. The Gyul herself has come for you. You'll answer for everything! From the other side, that coward! Do you think I'm a fool? You didn't want a deal. Now you will all die! Starting with you, you! Kill them! Artyom, get ready. Are you? What's going on? 
So, this is the plan Gul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shot, Artyom! Stop! You wanted to create a new world? my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster. The inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. 
that monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Christ even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Oh, what do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. And after a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. It is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, everyone. Yeah! 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 Oh, yeah! yeah! Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. 
Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For, for, for better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death was part to us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 me away. That ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said it How can you blow. believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand. So that might be the reason. Katya, Arthur, a few words. Think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been My thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Ah, oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Just 
So, what is the jury's verdict? <laughs> now here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on, you didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. To you! Hurrah! To you! Hurrah! Toast! Stefan, <laughs> can you play that song? Oh, About shit. us. Easy as pie! I can't say I've ever been religious. But right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna, and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Aurora here. Reading you loud and clear. Over. Colonel, sir. This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. I see. This one requires some repairs. This will hold us back. Regardless, the plan stands. We're on the board at the dam. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. Glad to hear that. Carry on. Aurora, over and out. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me.
caught your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. The fuckers tied me up so tight I can't feel my arms. Don't leave me here, man! The 
There's lots of fucking wolves here! Please, man! Don't leave me here! Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear! Uh, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves! I don't seem to recognize you. Which barrack are you from? You sure have some nice gear. In any case, don't go there alone. I tried, and, well, you know what happened. Ah, oh, these bitches hiding like fucking lizards. Oh, I found a way in and was going back already when the fuckers jumped me. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Both legs went to sleep. Can't even move now. Ah. Uh. I'll wait here till they wake up and go bring the boys. We have a good chance to get a drop on them first fuckers now. Avast! Stop right there! If the brethren of the coaster take another step and we run our rig on you! Aye! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! Aye! Be a good doggy and get lost! Ha 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 ha!
He was not alone. Yeah, all right. Let's cut the rope and take him to the camp with the first one. Hey, wait a minute. You pioneers already have one, and this is our catch. He got caught on our turf. The net is mine, so bite me. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you set the trap on our turf then? Uh, besides, you already have an intruder's backpack. I dived for the backpack, and you chickened out. Oh, I chickened out? You're pirates! You have more boats! And this one will face the forest court! Bojumoy, you're all cowards! He's an intruder, an enemy! What are you, a bandit? What did the teacher say? He said we must be different. Did you forget? Uh, isn't your head getting a bit too big? The teacher said we have to defend ourselves first. All the rest was later. Did you forget what the intruders would do here? He's an intruder too, so he must die before he brings the others. Enough! The forest court comes first. The court will decide if we kill him. <laughs>
So you got out, you asshole. It takes real skill to get away from the master of the forest. This means you're dangerous. Damn it. Fucking backpack. I got greedy. I got greedy. Well, shoot me. Or scram. I gotta get ready for the final exam. Tell the teacher. I defended ours. We didn't kick them out. We didn't kill the girls. What do you think? We took a hit from the master. The master probably got vision too. You went to the camp, we came here, we took the time. So what? We must at least get the bodies back. We'd be called cowards if we don't. Yep. Let's push it then. Yeah. How did you guys manage not to see the master? He can walk silently, and we were distracted. Another intruder got caught in the trap, and Eugene got excited. Well, so what is he? He's still hanging out there. If the master didn't get him, what? more reason to hurry up then. Yeah, let's pick up some speed. What's the point of feeding the mosquitoes here? Thank you. 
Something died. I guess I'll go wash the sweat off. <laughs> uh, no idea. Roman will decide that when he's back. Why? I think we shouldn't have put him there. It wasn't he who told the lie. It was a drifter. Well, that is true. What do you think she went to that drifter? And why don't we give chase then? Say it. Smarter than you! That's for sure!
job, man. What do we do now? They're both out. Well, just do the work yourself if you're so smart. I told you we should have just killed them. The Earth will be broken. <laughs> Am I along with such a rotten lock? All the boys have it made, and I'm standing around this place. Sit. Pointless, I say. Uh, fuck this. What are we even doing here? We're just shit in the place. This place is bad news. Only we want to get me here. Oh, no, I see. Yeah, this is just pointless. Pointless, I say.
Freeze, Drifter! So, we meet again? Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the Master of the Forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it. Sorry, teacher. The locks all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's consul session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind, but that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Teacher, forgive me. There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. And I'm stuck in flight. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, People all but stopped coming here. Because they haven't failed. The teacher raised us all. Taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all belong dead. So the girls used to come here every day. And the boys still make it from time to time. Even Roman does visit. Though it was because of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything. Anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Checking up on him just to bring him some berries, a restful advice, and gradually he started speaking to us. Still, he was like a different man, so distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore, though he'd reply to their letters, and to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him. He would always say we had to become their conscience, keep them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either. Started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then they started hanging bandits from the posts. 
calling them musts. One day they took about ten bandits alive and used them to test all the boys. Made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that. And then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. Of course, they all calmed down by now. They are talking to each other, at least. But back then, only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. In the end, Luda and a few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. I still keep checking the radio, hoping to hear from them. The teacher hoped too, but that hope didn't last long. They left in July, and in September he shot himself. I got away, but the problem is we can not alone. So what? We'll catch them all anyway. The 
first one moved. The second one lost. Is it a flash? Lots of people tried to go back. Do you know if anybody went to the church today? I don't think anyone did. Why? I heard shooting like there was no tomorrow. Thought it was the bandits again. Then I saw the trees falling. Someone got the master mad. I heard that too. That was definitely not one of our guys. We've no fools here. <laughs> must have been the intruder. Yeah, must have. Do you think he got away? I doubt that. The master doesn't joke around. Mm, yeah. saw that movement. Ah, well, it was nothing. Well, that's good.
got your tongue. So you can't knock on the door anymore, eh? As the teacher said, courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals. Wait a moment. You're not one of ours. A bandit, then. Don't look like one. Though you never know with them bandits. Different shit every day. Am I right or what, Senya? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, uh, quit your yapping. Making a worse racket than the damn aquas in heat. No respect for our guest, either. He can't get a word in edgewise. Leaving already? Uh, then leave. You're just a rat like the rest of them. After all.
Get some! Adiom? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Let's go, Artyom. Hear the counter-react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well... See that zipline? Those kids built it, back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Artyom! That is a lot of work! to tell you I met this awesome girl here she's dropped dead gorgeous name's Olga an instructor everyone respects her plus she's pretty understanding believe me when I said we're not enemies she was the one who let me go from their camp love at first sight I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism so here's your proof <laughs> she was so smitten. She even walked with me. And, you know, this is something new for me. I hated to say goodbye. I asked her to come with us. I can't leave them all. She's so strong! So now I have this thought stuck in my head. I hope Olga persuades all those guys to leave. And leaves herself. I don't like this feeling, Artyom. There's this beast I saw. A bear the size of a freaking house. I think it smelled us. This bridge has seen better days.
They just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alos. I can't just stop and leave like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like this! My children, I guess! Even though they look like these, those pioneers, huh? Ah, she'll handle them all in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His Olga is there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. You know, when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there, and if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You'll save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please, stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. Stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Artel, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Tell me what happened last year. Did 
someone bull here. No. Okay. Oh, you'll show you that. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk and radiation wow. outside is almost as high as back in Moscow. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still, Novosibirsk is most probably So what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go to no, now, sir. Not Please. first. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Akadem Gorodot labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands too. Third and last, wherever we might go, Winter is coming, and getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Remind them, please. There's a huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snow plow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew! Get ready for the mission! Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been through. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see, they're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me. Believes in us. And for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow, and now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to save Anna. What do 
you know, we're here. Novosibirsk. I sure hope this time it's not another bunch of nuts. The bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. The houses are undamaged too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we'd better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artem? Follow me! Good luck. You can rely on us. situation here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yermak! We'll take the Aurora south, to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Ah, I'm out of it. Christ, Sam, idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something oh, yes, for sir. the Aurora. There. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokare. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artem and I come back? Please? Goodbye, Uncle Artem. She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Hannah is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. You're here, Colonel, sir. Thank you. Artyom. This is no Moscow, where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it.
With it or on it. You ready? We are. So Artem, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Settle up. Evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. The metro entrance should be there. All right. Walking here would be easier. But we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. Definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. Should get us to the city center. They take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow, and the storm is getting worse by the minute. Weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Okay, turn right. There's nowhere else to go. Try the cord off, on the left. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. The weather's still getting worse. As well as the radiation. We can't stay here. Turn left. There. That way should take us back to the main road. God damn it! Another car pile! 
Let's follow it. I hope the car could take us further. We're not too worried about this. I'd love to be quick. The radiation's rising. The killers won't last long. Let's find a way to the city center. Hmm. That's what I call a cave in. Through the carriage. I'll help you off with that. Let's do this. Skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on, and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. What do you know? The air is breathable. again. Going to have a go at us. Let them try, I say. The straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Artyom. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Probably related to the music. 
mutants from back home. And this metro is crawling with them. I guess we can handle these. What do these things even eat here? Not people, that's for sure. Usually two levels in such collectors. Let's try to get through down there. We could squeeze through here. Seems rather shallow. Something in the water. We'd better get out. Out here. And here are the locals. Hmm. Reminds one of that execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? Eight thousand kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. I wonder if they were called spies, too. A year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the ready. Come on, and watch out! What could have happened here? They were all executed. Doesn't seem like a war at all. Supports. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. Let's see. Oh, look at this dust. 
Seems solid enough. Let's go. We're in a station's outskirts. Wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war after all. Defending with these armored trolleys, and when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. The full blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. What is better, I wonder? Life built on a lie? Or death born out of truth? What? I feel... Uh, strange. What was that? Shh. There, again. This is Sibirskaya, a line transfer station.
Zealanders. Chlorine. The bastards just gassed the whole station. Hence the Hecatomb. And they sure didn't joke around here. We're not opening that gate for sure. We'll have to go back to the service tunnels. Follow me! So, people here did survive for some time. We never had any communication with Novo Sibirsk, but assumed they had jammers too. After the bombs fell, the Defense Committee decided that hiding was our only chance to prevent new attacks. So much dust. Abandoned a long time ago. something useful. All of the metro systems were built similarly, so there should be a ventilation well here. forward from here, we should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there, to the next track tunnel. That piece of iron! Run through here, I'd notice. Check that side out. I'll have a look here. Come out, boy! <laughs> In a hiding! Nothing to be <laughs> afraid of! <laughs> oh! Grab him, Artyom! Stop! Where do you think you're going? Why did you run? Come. 
Come on, speak up, soldier. Identify yourself. Private Krill Klebnikov, Oscar Rapid Response Unit. And you won't get another word from me, so you can kill me now. All right, Private. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. What do you mean you mean no harm? I'm from Oscom! Aren't you with them? Them? Yeah, I don't know who you mean by that. But if they kill children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission. Details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way! The station's nearby! Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course. Just one section to the Institute. We're close, Artyom. Wait. All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait, which station are you from? Artyom is from the Exhibition, and I'm from Polis. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! You can come out now. Hey, where did you go? Did he just run? Uh, how are we supposed to find him now? We shouldn't have taken eyes off him. I'm here. Oh, he's alive. <laughs> it was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. We had a war here, you see. We noticed that. Hey. 
A cozy place you got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on a mission. And there's nobody else. Not since the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war. But not the civil one. How long has it been just to two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. Artyom, a satellite map. This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM center. A long time ago. So your father is on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back, and he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Um, do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom. Let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map, and we should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak. Come again, Aurora! Over! Do you copy, Aurora? Over! Damn! Static again! Artyom, if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us! A chance to have a real life. I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then we'll Wait, go get the you car. You can't go outside with that anti rad We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. By the way, you can take my railgun if you want. Might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo. Tell me when you're ready. But don't forget to restore some filters, Artyom. Won't have time to do that later. This map is definitely more recent. Where is it? Uh. Tell me, Kirill. How did you and your father end up the only survivors? The green stuff. The anti-rat ran out. You can't survive without it. The fire stations rioted. The committee sent in soldiers. The war broke out. And then, some died in combat. Others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so... The mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm okay. Don't worry. Aha! Here it is! As far as I understand, that ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes! That one! Then, you go through the station. Then, take the right tunnel. This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go.
Artyom. Artyom. Come on, wake up. Ah! 
You, you do define, define this, my love. love. It's, it's all right. right. I know, I know you tried. tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. you. I, want I want you to be there when... when... <coughs> you are right here. here. So, so nice. nice. again. Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just... went out like this. Can you 
you drive? Hooray! We're moving again. He found the map! Said Dad was a true hero, and that he saved us all.
forget how he's even alive. Artyom, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <sighs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <sighs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> you can't go to sleep now. <coughs> But we take a walk. <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare tire us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I, I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, huh? With this... You'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? Yeah. Uh. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom, Lake Baikal ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I, the old fool, I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. You were always ready, and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. 
a really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing, my time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up, lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the Colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. 